unfortunately it's a little bit slow because it's running on the VP VPS server and I'm tunneling the X over SS stage so this is a little bit, little bit slow yes we are here so you can here see the graphical user interface of the decent reference client we have several tabs based on the functionality but the main functionality is the browse content where you can see all the content being uploaded to the network a lot of test files here Another tab you can use is the upload, which is used for uploading a new content to the network. Overview, which gives you some overview about your wallet and send and receive decent tokens, and of course the browse the transactions. So we can start by uploading some test content. But first, create a new test content. save the file I can upload this content to the net this file to the network via the upload tab I can do it also via the command line via the RPC command but I will show those later Let's write some synopsis briefly describing the content. Another attributes we feel regarding content is the lifetime. I put here one week, seven days. Number of seeders required to share the content, I put five. And number of shares needed to recover the encryption key, I will keep three. I will put the price to 12 P cents. And now I will choose the file itself. I am not filling the tags because the tag is already defined by the hashtag attributes of the only tag of this content is hashtag demo. Submit. The GUI will show me some confirmation dialogues, of course, I will confirm. And I see that the content has been successfully submitted. Now I should be able to see the content. Submit transaction in the list of transactions. Yes, it is here. It just is not yet confirmed in the blockchain. So we can wait for a while to see and this will be submitted. I can check on the other node with status as well. 
can see this v VPS1 and this is VPS2 or VPSB where I'm running the GUI from. On the VPS1 I will run the GUI, uh, the RPC command themselves. So I will list the most recent transactions on the blockchain to see if my content has already been submitted or not and whether the network is has already accepted it and has put some proof of custody. So in the block 20185 I can see the content submit transaction. I will save the hash but I don't see proof of custodies yet, so let's wait a while. In the meantime, I can check that the content is in my browse content tab. Yes, I can see it's this one, demo content for video demo. I can check it also in the GUI. I can to see whether the content is visible also on the other node, as you can see this here. And I can see the proof of custody coming. First one, but should not be the only one. But okay, since we have the content available on the network and confirm in the blockchain, we can buy the content. This is done with the request to buy transaction where I refer the content submit transaction hash as the parameter. And as the result of the command, I see the hash of the transaction of the request to buy transaction. So let's wait for the request to buy to appear in the blockchain itself. Okay, it's not yet here. Still not here.
we have to wait for the block 20,196 to be generated. Okay, the block 20196 is still not yet generated. So I will return back to the GUI. As you can see, the content submit transaction comes with a price, and the price is determined by the length for how long I want to store content on the network and for how many nodes I choose to be publishers. So each publisher will get a fair part of this price for storing and submitting this content. But in the meantime, the new block was obviously generated. So let me check. Yes, it is here. It contains another proof of custody as well as our request to buy. Pretty soon we should get deliver keys, transaction coming for our request to buy. And so we can also check the status of our buying request with the check request command. As the ref parameter, I use the hash of the request to buy transaction itself. I see that already all the proof of custody has been de already delivered. They are not probably yet in the blockchain, but the not got it. Yes. Ah, yes, there are already delivered keys in the next block at 820194. Deliver key 1, deliver key 2, deliver key 4, 3, and deliver key 4. We requested only 3, but we got 4, so that's not bad. So we can get the transaction itself, get the content itself. With the get content command, the content will be downloaded and encrypted on our computer. Sorry, decrypted on our computer. It should be in this file. And we can check with the original file. Yes, it looks the same. And finally, since this is a very good content, we can rate it with the leave rating command. 
again as the reference we use the request to buy transaction hash with five stars the rating should appear also in the browse content tab once it is published in the blockchain itself okay, it's not yet there Let us check. No, no leave rating yet. So I'm pretty sure this will come in the next next block. As you can see it's already here. So it's probably not yet in the block, but the node received it and accepted it internally into the descent mempool. And it's already in the block 20,199. Leave rating all the parameters. So I showed you the decent reference client GUI and command line interfaces. I showed you how to upload the file to the network, how to put request to buy the file, how to check the status of the request to buy and how to decrypt the file on the node once it's fully bought and downloaded. And I also showed you how to rate the content in the decent network. So this is pretty much everything for the very basic functionality of the decent reference client. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you will enjoy the decent network as well. <laughs>